Hey everyone, Steven from Straight Fire Picks. We have best bets for the 2022 NBA playoffs on Sunday, May 15th, 2022. We're going to have NBA player prop spreads over unders here for you today. We're going to have three picks that anchor great value bets for the Sunday NBA slate. As always, just want to thank you all for your continued support here on the channel. If you're new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 6,000 subscribers. Reminder here at the channel, guys, that we are now partnered with Prize Picks, so be sure to use our code SFP for a 100% deposit match on your first deposit up to $100. Uh, really a great app, guys. They specialize in player props and things of that nature. You can bet on just about anything on Prize Picks. Uh, you can sign up also using one of our links that we have down below in the comment section and in the description. Today is, in particular, a great day to sign up for Prize Picks as well. They're running a special promo on Luka Doncic uh, to score over 0.5 points um, in the game there against the Suns, which is basically getting a free entry. So make sure you guys take advantage of that. Like I said, a uh, great day to sign up for Prize Picks. Uh, use our code SFP or one of our links that we have down below. Be sure to also check out our community Discord page as well. Great place to connect with our community and to get new ideas for bets. We'll have a link down in the comment section and in the description of that as well. Be sure to also drop your favorite pick down below in the comment section. If you like your pick included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick. And we'll include your pick in the video if it hits. Okay, now a quick shout out to our Straight Fire MVPs. So as always, guys, you see this beautiful list here running beside me of all of our Straight Fire MVPs. If you guys are interested in me becoming a Straight Fire MVP, there is a join button down below. We'll also have a link in the comment section and in the description. It's a great way to support the stream and what we do here at the channel. Like I said, just $3.99 per month. Um, you get some custom emojis and a badge next to your name and things of that nature. So be sure to check that out if you guys are interested in supporting the stream in that way. Okay, now results from the previous episode. So I didn't see any um, comment cappers as far as anything that hit. Um, I could be wrong about that because sometimes I miss some of the comments that are posted. Uh, as far as our stream results, it was another tough day, guys, for us. We went 1-2. and two. We were able to cash the under 217 points in the Warriors-Grizzlies game. Ended up being 206, so we cashed that relatively easily. Uh, but we missed on the Desmond Bain under 19.5 points in that game. He ends up finishing with 25. And we missed on the Jason Tatum under 29.5 points as well. He completely went off. It made me look like a fool, guys. He had 46 um, and really just had a breakout performance here in the playoffs. So, you know, it was a tough day, uh, but we're going to get back after today, guys. We're going to get this 3-0. Let's stay humble. Let's stay confident. So let's get right into our picks here today. At number one, we are going with Al Horford over 11.5 points here for the Boston Celtics at minus 118 odds. So guys, Horford is averaging 38.8 minutes so far in this series, which I do like to see that. He's 8 out of his last 12 to this line with the hook going back to the regular season. Uh, but he's had a lot of success so far in the playoffs, guys. He's really performed well in the playoffs um, and really in this series as well. He's 13 out of his last 18 versus the Milwaukee Bucks in the playoffs uh, to this line with one hook. So obviously we like to see that. Like I say, he's performed very well. His game logs so far in this series are 12, 11, 22, 38, and 2. So he has cooled off here the last two games. Uh, but I do like running it back here on him um, in this particular spot um, in this game 7. I think, you know, we're coming off a game where we saw Jason Tatum, Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown score 89 of Boston's 108 points um, in their game 6. So... Where do you think the attention is going to be for the Milwaukee Bucks defense? Well, I can tell you it's definitely going to be on Jason Tatum and definitely on Brown as well. And Smart obviously played very well as well. So uh, Horford could be due to have some open looks. Um, and I don't think they're going to, he's definitely down the totem pole where the Bucks are worried about him on defense. I think, honestly, the Bucks are going to throw the stops out at Tatum and make someone else beat him. It makes the most amount of sense to me. You got to make someone else other than Tatum beat you. you know, dude was just burning him from the three point line, drilling threes, knocking down every shot he took. So I expect the Bucks to try to get the ball out of his hands and uh, make Horford beat him. And guys, I love betting role players when they're playing at home, right? Role players tend to play way better at home. Horford definitely fits that bill. He's later in his career, he's a veteran, uh, but he is a role player and he's a very good one. Um, and he. Obviously, you know, he has a big upside. You know, we talk about, you know, a ceiling for a player. You know, his ceiling here, you're talking about probably is more than double. 
right on his line. I mean, he's a guy that could go off for 25 this game. If you guys were looking for a solid ladder play, this would be it for me. You know, him to score 15 and then him to score 20, um, at least. I think would be a great ladder play on him. Um, he's definitely capable. You know, he's been solid in elimination games. He's 11 out of 16 in his last 16 playoff elimination games to this line. So we like seeing that. Like I said, he does perform a little bit better at home as well. He averages 0.7 more points on the season at home, so we do like to see that. Um, and like I said, I, I just I love the attention that all the other guys got. And I think this is a game for Horford uh, potentially to step up here. Uh, so far in this series, he is averaging 14.2 points per game. So he's well above uh, this as far as average goes as well. And like I said, I just love Al Horford in the playoffs, guys. I think he's a big-time performer. He's underrated. He's a, he's older, but he's still getting it done. So we're going to take it there for a number one pick. Al Horford over 11.5 points here for the Boston Celtics at minus 118 odds. Okay, and at number two, we are going with Dorian Finney-Smith. Under 18.5 PRAs here for the Dallas Mavericks at minus 128 odds. So guys, Finney Smith so far is four out of six in this series to the unders. We do like to see that. He's posted game longs of 21, 4, 18, 33, 13, and 10. So uh, the thing about him, um, he has a lot of potential to get into foul trouble, uh, particularly I think in this game seven, where we're gonna see a lot of physical play. I think a lot of fouls on a game seven. Um, and Finney Smith is likely to be guarding uh, one of the Suns' top weapons, right? Either Devin Booker or uh, Chris Paul. So Finney Smith is definitely going to get some time guarding the team's best offensive star. It's what he does. Uh, he plays great defense. Uh, so you can expect a lot of that. And you expect him to get into a little bit of foul trouble, which we'd obviously love to see that. And Finney Smith here isn't what I would like to call a road warrior, right? Uh, he's averaging 17.1 PRAs on the road this season, so that is below this line. And, you know, you know what I just said about playing role players when they're at home? Well, I don't mind fading them when they're on the road, which is what we have here in Finney Smith. He is a he is a solid role player, uh, but a lot of his production, you know, obviously relies from the three-point line. And I think the man's a little young. I don't think he's quite ready to take that step and shoot the lights out from three in a game seven. I just don't see that from Finney Smith. Um, I think this is a game, honestly, built for Luka Doncic. I think Doncic, you're going to see the ball in his hands a lot. You're going to see a lot of shots from Luka Doncic. That's why his lines are so high. Despite the over-under being about 205 this game, Luka Doncic's lines are crazy. Now, his points line, I believe, is 34 and a half. Um, his rebound line is 10 and a half. Uh, and I think his assist line is 8 and a half. So, uh, big lines for Doncic. They're expecting, you know, obviously him to take a lot of shots. And I can honestly see that happening. And the Suns overall here, a solid defensive team all season, right? The third in defensive rating on the season. Now, they are just eighth at home in the playoffs in defensive rating. Um, and that's, you know, that's the better end of things, right? Suns have not been performing quite as well in the playoffs on the defensive end. But I still have faith that they can get it done here against Fenny Smith. Um, overall, they're allowing the six fewest points to power forwards on the season. So they've been very good defensively by position as well here uh, versus Fenny Smith. And, uh... Finney Smith has also gone under in the last five regular season meetings here with the Phoenix Suns. And he's played above 30 minutes in each of those games. So we do like to see that. Uh, and like I said, we're going to see a lot of Doncic. You know, maybe maybe Brunson, uh, but particularly a lot of Doncic. And uh, who knows who else at this point, to be honest with you. It'll be a collection of people, but just don't see Smith getting there. So love it there, guys. Four number two pack. We're going Dorian Finney Smith under 18 and a half PRAs here for the Dallas Mavericks. At minus 128 odds. Okay, and finally at number three, we are going with the Milwaukee Bucks plus five spread here versus the Boston Celtics at minus 110 odds. So guys, this has been a series about the road team. The road team is two and one um, so far in this series. The Celtics are two and one in Milwaukee, and the Bucks are two and one in Boston. So we have the Bucks here playing in Boston. So naturally, we're going to roll with the Bucks here. I love having the plus points in this spot, and to me. If there's one player that I trust in this game, if I had to pick just one, I'm picking Giannis Antetokounmpo. Um, he's got championship pedigree. He's already been here before. He's been here in the big moments. And I still like him above, dare I say it, Jason Tatum. I know I disrespected him last game. Uh, but still, in a game like this, big moment, big game seven, I still like Giannis more. Um, like I said, I like the team also that could be more physical um, and get the points in the paint. And so far, the Bucks really have beaten up the Celtics on the glass. I mean, I think, 
You know, I look at this series, I'm like, man, the Celtics are really living at that three-point line. If they have an off-shooting night from three, it's over. Uh, it really is. They rely so much on the three ball. If they're not hitting from three, they really don't have much of a chance here. Getting out-rebounded, so I'm going to read you guys the logs for each of these games. So, Milwaukee is out-rebounded Boston. Game one, 54-48. Game two, the only rebound battle they lost, Celtics won it 40-37. But from there on, Bucks won it 53 to 47 in game three, 48 to 38 in game four, 49 to 36 in game five, and 49 to 42 in game six. So the Bucks really have been attacking the glass a lot better. Um, and like I said, right now, you know, really the difference right now in the series, um, you know, from Milwaukee would already have won this series is, you know, the three point line. Boston has been living at the three point line and shooting it fairly well. Milwaukee is not. Milwaukee shooting just 31% from three this series. Uh, so that's obviously got to improve. And Drew Holiday's got to play better, guys. Drew Holiday is shooting 35.5% from the field this series. But I do have faith in the man. Uh, Drew Holiday is a very good player. He's built for these moments as well. And he is what I would call a road, road warrior. So that's particularly why I like the Bucks in this spot. I think the difference is going to be Drew Holiday, to be honest with you. Um, throughout the season, um, he has performed much better on the road. Just been that way. Look at his splits. Uh, that's where he likes to live. You know, I've been playing his PRAs on the road. Not so much when he's at home. Um, so obviously, I love him when he's on the road. I think he gets it done here, guys. I think between Drew Holiday and Giannis, I think they're both going to have huge games. I think they're going to be too much to stop. I really do. Uh, I know the Celtics got Tatum, which I expect him still to perform. Uh, but I just trust Giannis a little bit more in the big moment. I really do. And right now, you know, the Bucks so far defensively in these playoffs have been very good. They're first in the playoffs with a 102 defensive rating. It's obviously very good. And the Celtics are fourth, uh, which still obviously isn't bad. Celtics are eighth in offensive rating. Bucks are 14th. So the Celtics have had the edge offensively. Like I said, they've been shooting the ball much better from three. Um, and so if Boston does not knock down their threes, they are losing this game. I don't have any doubts about that. Um, if they don't shoot at least above 40% for three, I think they lose for sure. Like I said, I love the plus points here for uh, the Bucks guys. Our championship team. I'll take the championship team in a game seven. I will. And I'll take Giannis in a game seven any day of the week. Very comfortable doing that. So we'll take it there for our number three pick. Milwaukee Bucks plus five spread here versus the Boston Celtics at minus one ton odds. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for our picks. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 6,000 subscribers. Sorry about the lighting today, guys. We are dealing with some AC malfunction issues, so it's causing a little trouble with the lighting. Uh, but, you know, we just work through it. You know, it's real-life problems. We do need to get back on track today, though, guys. It has been a rough week uh, as far as picks go. I think we're 2-10. and 10. In our last few days here at the channel. Uh, so it has not been a good stretch at all for us. So um, probably the worst stretch that we've been on. I could think of most of the season anyway. Um, I can't remember a stretch like this. So do need to get back on track today. I do love the plays today guys. We're looking to get a 3-0. That's what we need. We want it. We need it. Make sure you guys aren't dumping on any one play though. That you're bankroll managing. Um, and playing your unit sizes. You can even play them down to you know, half units, you know, if, if that makes you guys more comfortable. Make sure that you guys love the plays, right? I think, <clears throat> I can't stress it enough that I can put information out there, and but at the end of the day, I want you guys to feel very comfortable with what you're playing and be able to live with your decision regardless of the result. Because we don't control results. That's the one thing we can never do. Uh, we can never be in control of what's going to happen in a game. Sometimes you just never know uh, how a team's going to come out because it's so much of a human element, right? Um, so make sure when I'm reading through all this stuff, you guys are like, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. You know, we're going to roll with that today. Or Steve, I'm going to fade you because you know what? I disagree. That's completely fine as well. Um, I just want you guys to be comfortable with what you do. Uh, cause obviously we did have some people, you know, saying stuff and you know, I get it. I know there's frustration, but you also got to like the bet for yourself. I, I'm not responsible for anybody else's bet, but my own, this is what I'm doing today. And I feel very comfortable and confident in it. Uh, but Anything can happen, you know, so we just never know. So anyway, guys, uh, check out all of our social media links. Uh, check out our prize picks uh, link as well. Check out our Straight Fire MVP program if you guys are interested in supporting the channel in that way. You can also check out our website, straightfirepicks.com, if you guys ever want any merchandise. 
uh, coffee mugs, t-shirts, stuff like that. We got all that kind of cool stuff up there. But other than that, it's going to do it for me. I hope you guys have a great Sunday, great and happy Sunday. Let's cash your bets today. Let's uh, let's prepare for the excitement, guys. Two game sevens on. You can't ask for anything more on the playoffs, right? So appreciate you all here at the channel. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we will catch you next time. Peace out.